Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Gene Fox Blind. I just thrown off some more living tools because I have more living tools nowadays than I have copy paper. And that has... The fuck? What's going on? Huh. Sorry about that. I had apparently, as a force of habit, activated uh, fraps. I just sometimes do that. Out of habit. Even though I don't need fraps for Gene Forge. And it crashed, which caused that weird thing to happen, so yeah. Also, I found out what it is I need from over here. It's apparently, uh, to turn this area green, it's, I just need to pull a le lever that's kinda hidden. Wait, what was this again? Ah, submission forms. Uh, there's just one thing with it, however, that it reveals a way into a dungeon, and this is apparently the game's bonus dungeon, which, by the game standards, should be hard as balls. know how the game already is, so there should be a lever somewhere around here, I guess it was. In somewhere where you can't immediately see it. So I guess I just have to look around. Hmm. I believe it was supposed to be by one of these, but we're wrong. The comment said something about it behind one of the pillars, by which I would assume it's these things. But I'm not really seeing it. Maybe it would help if I space these out so I can see all over the place. Nothing seems to... to oh, was there something there? That uh, must be because I moved my mouse too fast. Looked like it for a sec. Oh, oh, you stay down there. Hang on a second, I'm gonna check out my comments. So it wasn't a pillar, it was directly southwest and behind a wall. So, ah, there it is! That's what it takes. I got enough of these. There we go. Oh wait, did I forget to press it?
Right. You know, when they said it opened, I kind of expect it would lead to another area. Uh, not that these supposedly powerful beings would be right inside. That does not fill me with confidence. Well, maybe these aren't so bad, though I'm still a bit worried, you know. How many sp uh, let's just go with <laughs> Oh dear. They're getting out and that can't be good. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I classify this as being really freaking bad. You know, just in case it wasn't obvious. So, um, yeah, uh, you guys, you are kind of boned. But um, fair enough, I shall construct new mortal shells for you in due time. You managed to kill some of them. Excellent. Some of them were weakened. A bit. You know, I could probably take these on, but since the crypt itself is a dangerous area that should be avoided. It's down here. <laughs> Goodbye! But the area is clear now and I can come back here once I'm strong enough. Also, that dragon I talked to apparently drained a uh, skill point from me. And I apparently overlooked that I had leveled up because, well, as has been thoroughly established several times during my LP career, I can be blind as a mole. Not blind is a bad because, you know, many bats aren't, in fact, blind. They just, you know, rely on hearing more than sight. Surprising how many people don't know this. Oh no, those healing. Wrong button. Let's see, let's take you. And then start creating. Process because I have to do that. Albert and Hatton. Right, where to next? Hmm. Past the tribal woods. Guarded bridge, patrol bridge. Hmm. Or maybe we should give the Valley of Wind another chance. Let's try, shall we? Just for luck. Bye. 
Wow, and he's down. <laughs> well, well, there's nothing that could be done about that. Let's move on. Let's see what else we can find. Huh. You enter a warm, comfortable, steaming bathhouse. The moment you step inside, the sound of wind outside dies off. The warmth immediately makes you feel comfortable and drowsy. You up inside the room are very strange. They are very slightly insubstantial. If you concentrate, you can almost see them through them. There are two poles in the south end of the room. Strangely, they are still full of water. Or all these centuries, they are still ready for use. Yeah, well, doesn't that sound freaking suspicious? Well, a ghostly bathhouse. I guess even the dead need to wash off once now and again. Apparently. Shit, wrong, wrong button. Hey. God damn, just smack him. Then I'll help by healing you. We're actually doing surprisingly well. I mean, Hadden Cloak was butchered, like in the first round of any sort of combat. But we killed a couple and booted a couple others, and if we're lucky, we'll make them easier if they show the faces around here again. Yeah. yeah, I'm quite the fragile little flower, ain't I? Let's try that again, but with less of me dying, hopefully. There's another one. Would you? There we go. Nice if we cast that speed spell before the encounter. But apparently... But it doesn't last that long, apparently. Okay guys, I think you may have put 
Just a little bit too many of these damn things in here. Just saying. It's getting real annoying. Especially because we seem to heal at increase for rate too. Well, that went splendidly. <sighs> well, we killed a cobble. Guess we really can't ask for more. It's also because I act last, so I can't cast that speed spell. You know, before it's too late. I mean, I could cast it now, but... Then it would... Probably not mean anything. I can try. Oh. And it's expensive, too. But hey, we managed to off another one, so that's progress. Don't know how fast they heal, don't care. Going back here. Auto heal. Booyah! Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Can't forget Hat and Cloak. Valuable party member that he truly is, uh, especially due to his damage over time ability, which has been once helped out with those who tried to flee from us.